Waking up more than once to empty your bladder isn't normal. This problem is called nocturia and it can really wear you down. The great news is that there's a lot you can do at home to stop this problem and wake up feeling restored and ready to go. Hi, I'm Michelle and today I'm going to share six ways to help you stop your bladder waking you throughout the night. So let's dive straight in. One of the fastest ways of stopping bladder waking is to reduce how much you're drinking before going to bed. It seems obvious, doesn't it? It takes about three hours on average for the water you drink to go through your system and reach your bladder. So that if you drink close to bedtime and throughout the night, your blood is going to fill up more and going to be much more likely to wake you. Now, to avoid this problem, try to have your last drink about two to four hours before you go to bed. So what this will do is it'll give your body enough time to process and empty the fluids that you drink while you're awake. Now, it's okay to have some small sips of fluid if you're thirsty or if you need to take medication, but on the whole, try to get your six to eight glasses of water that you should be drinking during the day. Drink them steadily throughout the day, sipping steadily throughout the day, rather than waiting until the end of the day. Now, this tip should have an immediate impact on your bladder waking, and I'd love to hear how it works for you. Let me know if you have a moment in the comments below. Now, it's also important that I mention avoiding alcohol at night. And I know you don't want to hear me say this, but I have to say it, alcohol increases bladder filling and this continues after you've stopped drinking and into the night. Uh, drinking alcohol also reduces the quality of your sleep so that when you are sleeping you're going to be much more likely to be woken by your bladder when it fills up during the night if you've been drinking earlier on. The news doesn't get much better because unfortunately some of the foods that we typically like to eat at night can also cause bladder waking. So these are foods that contain a lot of fluid such as soups, some types of juicy fruits, uh, ice cream, yogurt, and thick milky drinks. And they're like fluids because they fill the bladder while you sleep. Now you can still eat these foods, but try to finish them well before you go to sleep. It can also help too that if you avoid salty and spicy foods for your final meal of the day, because they're gonna be more likely to make you thirsty and want to drink. Now, if your bladder wakes you at night and you're anything like me, you might be relying on having a really strong cup of coffee in the morning to wake you up. Now don't worry, I'm not about to tell you to stop drinking coffee, that's the last thing I wanna hear. But just like alcohol, caffeine increases the amount of urine in your bladder. And again, this can have an effect on your bladder 10 to 12 hours after you've drunk it. In other words, your late morning coffee can still be affecting your bladder well into the night. Now, the short term solution if you don't wanna give up coffee is to drink your coffee first thing in the morning, or instead, drink decaf coffee or herbal teas. And you can learn more about bladder irritants to avoid if you're interested by watching the video above, and it's also linked in the description below too. Now let's talk about medications because some of the most common medications can also increase bladder filling at night. This includes medications like antidepressants, blood pressure medications, and also diuretics. So if you take regular medication and your bladder's waking you up at night, it could be worth discussing your medication schedule with your doctor. And sometimes just simply changing the time that you change your medication from night time to earlier in the day can reduce your bladder filling at night. But be sure that you follow your doctor's directions regarding your medication schedule. Another thing you can do to stop your bladder waking is to manage fluid retention. Now, during the day when you're up and about, fluid accumulates in your legs and your feet. And then when you lie down to rest, that fluid returns back into your circulation and then back into your bladder. And this can wake you up, especially if you're retaining a lot of fluid. And you'll know that by looking down, you'll, seeing, you'll be able to see that your feet and your ankles are quite swollen in the afternoon and evening. The simple solution is to elevate your legs in the afternoon for a couple of hours or in the hours before you go to bed. You can also move your feet up and down so you can do some calf pump exercises and compression stockings or support stockings being worn during the day are also a really great help with this problem. But don't forget that you need to put the stockings on as soon as you get up in the morning and before you start moving around. Now let's finish off by talking about your daytime bladder habits because nighttime problems are usually caused by what's happening during the day. One of the most common mistakes you can make is emptying your bladder just in case you think you might need to empty it. 
Going just in case reduces how much your bladder can hold at night. So instead, try to get out of the habit of doing this and hold off emptying your bladder until you feel that you've got an appropriate urge to go. The other really common mistake during the day is not drinking enough. So if you don't drink, your bladder won't stretch and expand during the course of the day as it should. So at night, it's obviously going to wake you up. So you can see there are quite a number of simple things you can do at home to reduce bladder waking or stop your bladder waking you at night. Let me know which of these tips works for you. And if you've found this information helpful, I'd really appreciate you liking this video because this helps others find the information too. Thanks for watching today and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notifications bell below. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.